Hey guys, what's up? Mike Locke here. Thanks for tuning in to this video. Uh, in this video, I want to give you some advice and pointers when it comes to copying websites. Now, for those of you who have followed me before, who have been following me for a while, you know I've touched on this in the past, and that's the idea of copying websites. For those of you who are members of my training course, you know that I touch on this all the time and I give you advice on copying other websites. Now, uh, the idea, for those of you who don't really know what I'm talking about, um, I, I, I say the best way for you to learn visual UI design and to enhance your skills is to take screenshots of a website that inspires you, that you like, and try to copy it from top to bottom, pixel by pixel. Okay. Now, the goal of this is not for you to copy this website and post it on your portfolio as work that you've done. You don't want to do that. It's not good because you're copying the website. That's not the purpose of this. The goal is to copy to enhance your visual UI design skills. Okay. Now, I think this is the best way to learn and the reason is because there are so many things that um, you can't learn in school that I can't even teach you that you can learn through the um, through the process of copying a website for example and the reason why I'm, I'm shooting this video um, this topic came up because um, I do get a lot of emails from people telling me Mike you know I really like this idea of copying websites uh, for practice and they send me people send me their before and after pictures or they'll send me the original and they'll send me their versions and want me to give them advice on what they've done wrong and things like that and sometimes you can see the inconsistencies you can see where they're getting it right um, but it's a great a lot of people who, who who've done this really like this um, this this practice uh, exercise and so in this last one that I saw I haven't responded yet to his email but the last one I saw I'm going to um, they there was inconsistencies in terms of spacing so um, the goal is when you copy a website let's say you have a navigation bar um, and your navigation bar is much larger than the original um, you want to take note of that and you want to be pixel perfect as possible um, you know down to the pixel um, and the point is this the point is the main things when you get a when you when you're copying a website the main things that you want to focus on is the spacing okay spacing here here are the three things spacing font sizes um, and dimensions okay so spacing and that means spacing throughout the entire site and when I mean spacing I'm talking about like space when you have a bar let's say the bar is like 30 pixels high right there's a navigation bar what's the spacing between the logo and and the bar okay what's the spacing between each um, navigation link okay um, what's the spacing from on the billboard section they may, they may have a large background image okay on the website that you what's the spacing between uh, the main headline uh, between that and the top of the page you know what what are the the, the dimensions for the width you know a lot of people ask me Mike what dimensions do I use when I'm designing websites that's the purpose of copying for you to understand the different dimensions that are out there okay and, and when I mean spacing these are things if I teach you web design I can teach you and talk to you talk you through a website but you know what what's the proper spacing from you know from this container to that one it might be 10 pixels 10 pixels of padding and things like that those are the little nuances those are little things that you can pick up when you're copying websites when you're going through this exercise when you're copying okay so spacing is highly important uh, font sizes you know what are the font sizes on the links on the navigation links what are the font sizes for your main headline what are the font sizes in your buttons um, what are the font you know sometimes you have these little containers like three boxes these containers and sometimes they have like a little paragraph or a little sentence or so underneath a little text what's the font size there and what's the spacing between the text and the, and the container um, what's the font size of the the copyright link you know um, text and stuff like that um, so those are the main things spacing font sizes font type also typography you know what what type of fonts are they using is it an, is it a sans serif like a 
like a, like an Ariel Helvetica type of font? Is it a serif font like Times Roman, Georgia, that type of font? You know, those are the things you need to pick up on. Um, also, um, so dimensions, dimensions, uh, what is it? Wait, spacing, spacing, font sizes and typography and dimensions, the width sizes, you know, the, the vertical size, you know, a lot of times you'll see that, um, there are no vertical limits to some websites. They go down for like 4,000 pixels long, but in terms of the width, a lot of people ask me, Mike, what dimensions do I use? You know, some, some sites are a thousand pixels wide. Some are, are smaller, like 960, 900, et cetera. And some are larger. All right. So those are the things you want to pick up on, uh, when you're, when you're copying websites. All right. So that's the goal. The, the point of, of copying websites is to pick up on these little things that you can't learn in web design school that you can't learn from me. It's just little things that you're going to pick up on when you're copying these websites and it's going to make you, as you continue to, to copy these websites, pixel perfect, these are start, these trends will start to become familiar with you and you're going to start to use these on your own websites. All right. So, um, that's my nugget for, for today in terms of copying websites. Uh, if you like these little nuggets, uh, like the video, leave me a comment. And, um, also thanks for everyone who subscribed to my YouTube channel. I have over 30,000 subscribers now. Thank you so much. And as always, I appreciate all the feedback that I get. And uh, also, um, as always, if you have any questions and want to learn more about UI design, visit my website, mlwebco.com. And uh, hit me up. Send me an email. I'll be happy to answer questions for you. All right. We'll talk soon, guys. Peace.